Brown. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Baltimore Orioles. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. Getting the nod in this one. Corbin Burns. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he Leading can control off, four or even Kansas five City. of those offerings, look out, team. hitters. It's going to be Michael. a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And here comes Michael Massey stands in now and watches strike one. The pitch on the ground right side. Holiday tosses the first one up one down. And here now the lineup for the Royals. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, well, I think when you get a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. You'll want. That oh, one missed. Good. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. One out, base is empty. And the pitch. Line drive. And Witt is out. And there are two down. Batting third. The first baseman, number nine. Two outs, Vinny base is empty. And Pasquantino. here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Right through there for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. That one finds the zone, and it's nothing in two. And the right-hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Mullins settles under it. And that is that. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back now at Oriole Park. And towing the slab in this one, Seth Lugo. How about a report on him, Chris? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for Leading all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Colton oh, Kowser in now. Takes ball one off the plate. The 1-0. -oh. Oh, 
Hot shot to third. Gets it to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Here's Adley Rutschman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. All one, no strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fought off foul. And another ball. Heading down the line. Melendez running hard to get it. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. The wind of the pitch. And base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself that into good. a good count. That's Solid good swing count. from start to end. No, no, no. On time with everything. Really good balance. Yeah. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. At the play, Gunnar Henderson. Ah. Top of the zone for a called strike. Gunnar Henderson was the unanimous choice for American League Rookie of the Year in 2023. Got off to a slow start, but finished the season with 28 homers, playing as the Orioles' everyday shortstop. You know, Adley Rushman nearly won the award in 2022. The future is bright for the Orioles. Ball on a strike. Foul ball there. Man at first, one away. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Anthony Santander at the plate. Ah. And a curve drops in for a strike. Henderson became the first Orioles player to win Rookie of the Year since Cal Ripken Jr. did it in 1982. It only took Gunner one season to start doing things the Orioles haven't seen done since Cal was playing on the team. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. 0-2 is the count. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And down on strikes. Third out. Nothing for the Orioles in the first. Out of the second from Baltimore. No score. Back here in Baltimore, top of the second, and now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Burns, like a lot of guys in the majors, played several sports growing up. He was a really good football player in high school, actually, which makes sense when you look at his bill. But ultimately, he chose to pursue a career in baseball. And there's the strike. Perez, a former All-Star, batting in the cleanup spot. And he's usually a catcher today. He gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. And the next pitch is way outside. Well, I really like when a guy gets a break like that. He still gets to stay involved in the game. Instead of starting behind the dish, gets to hit, gets to rest a little bit, gets to watch the game from a different perspective. Hey. 
And he hits a ground ball right side. And that chance handled. Gathers and throws to first. And they get Perez for the out. That is it. The left field, number one. Next to hit, MJ Melendez. Melendez. Foul ball. Burns. He's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around, by walking guys. And he grounds one to the right side. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. Yeah, he throws strikes. And, you know, he's that got the it. command, be in the zone, the be effective. Michael but just moving the ball Garcia. around, getting the ball back from the catcher, Boog and throwing the pitch. Here's the third baseman. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. That's Keeping guys off the base paths with the way the swings and the launch angles are today, the emphasis of hitting home runs is so huge. It's never been more important. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, I think the other part, though, as well, is it goes both ways because I think that guys at times are more than willing to give up walks because they'll come back and strike the next hitter out. set down in order we'll go to the bottom of the second no score bottom half of inning number two Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit and a pitch That one ripped. That's back. To the warning track, makes the catch. Almost a loud that start to the good. inning on that first That's pitch. Man, he's going to want that one That's back, right. no doubt. And oh, next yeah. for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Second inning here, no score. One down, base is empty. And he chases that one. Two down. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Gotta Pretty tough. simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're oh, ahead 0-2 oh, as a pitcher, you can Not really cool. expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Swings and misses. 0-1. Oh, 0-1. and a miss he was late strike two no ball, do that fastball strike. right by him slightly elevated that's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound see if he continues to climb the ladder here's the 0-2 that one the other way and that's just foul Next nope, pitch misses, 
And the count is one and two. It's a good take. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The now it's the right, the right fielder, fielder, Robbie Grossman. Robbie Grossman. Burns back to work. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. And next up for the Royals, Freddie Fermin. Slider for a strike. One down, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. Top of the third, no score. Next offering down in the dirt. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And now it's Kyle Isbell. That one's in there. It's 0-1. That's a little bit low. And that's in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And it's nope, ball four. He missed down low. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very okay. aggressive secondary okay. lead. So a ball down the line okay. or into the gap okay. will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Massey Aye. in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And there's a ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Two outs. That one a little bit high. The count now two and two. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and they don't get the out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Bobby Witt Jr. getting ready to hit. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away.
The pitch. The shortstop yeah. takes the ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. Swing and a pop ball. Holiday under it. He's got it. And that's the third out. Royals strand a pair. And we are still scoreless. And we're back. Leading Here's the second Royal baseman, Orioles. Jackson Holiday. The second baseman, Jackson Holiday. And the right hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Grossman settles under this one, brings it in, and a quick out number one. Batting nut, the third baseman. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Up the middle, Massey. Throws the first in time. The batter, the left fielder, Colter. Colter. Now the left fielder, Colton Kowser. He's 0 for 1. Hey. Late on that fastball. Well, you got to be careful with this guy. Two outs, nobody on. He's looking to drive the ball really far. So if you can't get him to chase your pitch, you might just pitch around him a little bit and deal with the guy on deck if you walk him. Nope. That Outside. one misses. One and one. Comes up empty. That's strike one two. Ball. The guy's two going strikes. this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. On to inning number four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back now at Oriole Park, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Vinny Pasquantino. Now the right-hander ready to go, still no score. There's a strike. And now the 1. Inside, ball one. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Right through there for a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And in foul ground, he pulls it down, one out. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Grounded out his first time. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. A gigantic blast. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off.
Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So one out, nobody on. M.J. Melendez steps in for the Royals. And a swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh Strike two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Swings and misses two away. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Number 11 stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Righty to the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Santander in pursuit. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Royals get one on this swing by Perez. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Baltimore, ready to go, bottom four. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. The pitch. That's in there. Going on. Oh, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Oh, and two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now batting. That's your job. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson struck out swinging his first time. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Next offering is in for a strike. The Royals leading by a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Pitch oh, misses, cool. and it's two and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. And that's outside. Three and one. Anthony Santander in the on deck circle. Kicks and deals. High fly ball out to left field. Melendez going after it. Drops into the glove. Now batting right fielder Anthony. Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Caught looking his first time up. That one not close. And that's ball one. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, 
a good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. The pitch. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run! He powers that one out of here. And they take the lead. It's 2-1. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments and right there made a statement big time. Man, he completely covered that pitch. Breaking ball on the outside corner of the plate. His shoulder stayed square. He got to it, got around it, and got it up in the air. Nice home run. And now the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Missed inside with the curve. Still only one out here in the inning. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. This one high in the air to left center. Isbell sizing this one up. Makes the grab for the second out. Now batting center fielder Cedric. So up next, Cedric Mullins. Mullins. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. one Just down. a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's going back. Back some more. And gone. It's their second home run of the inning, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-1. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. There's your strike. 0-1. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. That's off the mark. Ball one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Next offering down low and in the dirt. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show.
Ready now for the fifth inning. And now, Robbie Grossman. Robbie Grossman. And a pitch. Well, after scoring oh, runs, awesome. this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, these Royals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing no pitches play. has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Wouldn't chase that time. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all nope. game. And a four-pitch walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Freddie Fervin will hit next. And it goes Ow. just foul. Righty delivers. And that one ripped to left. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And to the plate for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell walked his first time. Ball one, one no strikes. Counts one and oh. First and second, no outs. And we're in the top of the fifth. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Squeezes it. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Michael. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Michael Massey. One for two. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Grossman over at second. Fermin over at first. So going away. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball, two strikes. The 0-2. Well... Fights it off, you'll see another. Another one, two. Stays alive. Runners at first and second with one gone. Pitch nope. misses, and it's two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And he deals. And now it's filled up. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Bobby Witt Jr. up next. Two on, one out. On the ground, a second might be two. Throws to Henderson, and that's two. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. The shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. We head to the bottom of the off. fifth and into the box for Baltimore, Jackson Holiday. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Here's a strike. Holiday, only 20 years old, a former first round pick in 2022.
Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Just a fastball that got away from him there. He didn't have the right finish to a good extension that he needed to get to his target. Westberg batting for the second time, and that's strike one. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Nobody out. Runner at first. Pickoff throw, and he's back in there. Is your one? Hey. And ball one. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So, got to stay ready for it. The one two. There he goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Colton Kowser. Pickoff move to first. Safety Holiday day. back in on a dive. Let's keep it going. And he swings and misses at the oh, initial the offering. back our way and that's out of play one ball Two this strength. one in the dirt no advance good job behind the dish rip to third fired to second Ow. double play what a twin killing to end the inning. Three up, three down that time. Five innings complete. It's the Orioles three and the Royals one. And welcome back to the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Burns back to work Whoa, and that one down. a little below the knees and that is ball one and outside, a curve misses ball. outside to account you really don't want to give in here you've got to work the edges really execute a pitch hopefully you can get back into this count and the righty deals the there's a strike and it's two and one misses it's a strikeout now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there I mean just to keep that speed off the base pass it's not just the pitcher it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base so digging in, Vinny Pasquantino nope, just missed. Ball. ball one, no strike.
Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And a curve is down and in. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Pasquantino leads off first with one away. Ground ball left side could be two. Beats the second out there. Double play. Then he can't seem to break through. Inning over. No runs, no hits, no errors. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Orioles three and the Royals one. Bottom of the six. Now the number Rookie two hitter, Adley Rutschman. Adley Rutschman. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. A pitch in for a strike. 0 and 1. Gets him to chase after that one. 0 2 is the count. Ball oh, one there. Here comes a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Not even close there. Two and two. Out towards left center. Touches down. That's a hit. And after grinding through that at bat, he gets the best of him. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but... He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And now here is Gunnar Henderson. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And here it comes. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Three. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. 
Now one away. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping now him off base. Right and the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. down the line and now maybe extra bases Rutschman round second on his way to third coming home now a relay to the plate it's offline the run comes in it's 4-1 puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly Will Smith gets handed the rock out of the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. One out, runner at second. And next for the Orioles, Ryan O'Hearn. That one misses, and it's 1-0. towards first Pasquantino they put the tag on him and that's out number two now that center fielder get ready. Mullen. here's the center fielder Cedric Mullins he's already homered here in this one and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here Swings through that one for strike one. Double barrel oh, action in the bullpen. James MacArthur getting ready to go. Stratton also throwing. Two outs and a runner at third here in the bottom of the sixth. Fastball for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. A run on two hits and they leave one. We're through six full. It's the Orioles four and the Royals one. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the left fielder, M.J. Melendez. And the right hater back to work. No. And that's it's off not. the inside edge. Ball one. Missed. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. there for a strike at the bottom of the zone big at bat right here he did the team thing took until he got a strike now he's got to go to work shorten up that swing a little bit do whatever it takes to get on base kicks and fires fouls one away and now three and two Throw it in. That's a strikeout. That was a really nice pitch call for that put-away slider right there. You look at the sequence in that at bat, and he hadn't thrown it yet, so this makes it really tough to recognize and fight off with two strikes. I'm sure it looked like a fastball all the way until it wasn't. Now the third baseman. Oh, 
Inside, just missed. One down, base is empty. Out to short. Henderson throws the first in time. And two away to start the seven. Now batting, right fielder, Robbie Grossman. Now it's Robbie Grossman. That one is in the dirt, and yep, that's ball one. one. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Splits the plate. It's a ball and two strikes. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Into the bleachers and gone. A solo shot. And they're chipping away. It's 4-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So two away with nobody on. And now the catcher comes up to him. Freddie Fermin. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Chris Stratton. Pretty Amazing. tight game, so they're looking Stratton. for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to Leading keep the score off. right the where Orioles. it is. The now here's the Orioles' DH, Ryan, Ryan Mountcastle, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The pitch. In the air, right field, Grossman. In position, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Really nice job to get your first out of the no ball batter, game. Number seven. Second baseman. Now it's the second Jackson. baseman, Jackson Holiday. Holiday. And the oh, first pitch misses for ball one. Oh, and another there. ball. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seventh. And there's a foul ball. Comes a 2-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 2-2 on the way. Back 
right foot slider ties him up, struck him out. Now batting. Jordan the Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one. Oh, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And the pitch. And that's too high. One strike. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Makes the catch, and that is that. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Danny Coulomb. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. The center fielder, number 28, Kyle Isbell. And a pitch. Now a drag oh, ball, third base side. Coulomb measures 5 feet 10 inches. He throws a cutter, a sinker, a slur, a curve. And he works in a four-seamer. Ball to strike. The pitch. Nope. That's inside. That one missing inside. ball and it remains a full count. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. We're always having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. On the ground to third. Slings to oh. first. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. The batter number 19. Second baseman. Michael Here's the second baseman. Massey. Michael Massey. One for three. On, and that one fouled off. The Royals down by a pair, and we're in the top of the eighth. On, One down, base is empty. That's a ball. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bobby Witt Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. On the ground, right side. Knocks it down. The throw is still in time. And they do get the third out. The inning is over.
Nothing doing for the Royals. They trail it here, four to two. Back now at Oriole Park. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Colton Kowser. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. That clips the corner. Left hand batter waits. Ball and one. there's a ball. One and one. Right through there for a strike. Here's a one two. Starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Here's a two two. Helpful. Got it by him for the K. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. Three for three with three singles. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Close nope. one. Doesn't get the call. One and the count is one and one. Good eye right there. But you want. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Just misses with that one. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Ground ball, left side. Slings it across. It. Rutschman retired. Now batting. That's shortstop. Gunner. Gunner Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. First offering misses badly for ball one. Seems like from day one, his strike zone and plate discipline looked like he'd been in the league for six years already. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles, as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Felix Bautista on the pitch here. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And he deals. Pasquantino in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. That's ball, too. That one, a triple digits. They get to this part of the order, 
Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. The pitch. Not close with that one. Three and two down. Outside, and that is ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Leading up for Panther City. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. And things could change quickly here with one swing. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Relay throw home. Safe. Safe. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Runner in scoring position, no outs. MJ Melendez now at the plate. Outside corner, there's a strike. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Next offering upstairs. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. First strikeout for him in this one, and that splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. He's two outs away. Here's the third baseman. Now he pumps it a strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Swings over the splitter for strike three. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. Last chance for the Royals, and now the right fielder, Robbie Grossman, trying to deliver as the hero. Just yep, missed. And on second, two down. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Right through there for a strike. The Royals down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. Took him out. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. That looked like the pitcher was getting into a little trouble there, but quickly brought out a pitch that isn't what most hitters are looking for with that great velocity. But it was really good movement on the changeup and a nice win today.
high score this afternoon. First for the victorious Orioles. Four runs on six hits. No errors. They left three runners on base. For Kansas City, three runs, five hits. No errors. They left six runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and six minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.